Woo wee, what's going on YouTube? It's Donnie B all day. So today I'm bringing you whoa, a knife that I've been waiting to bring you because it's beautiful. I actually really, really love these scales. I think it's gorgeous. Um, this is a Fintizo Harp, H-A-R-P-E, and I will, well, you'll see in the description, but there's also going to be a link on how to get this knife down below because for the price, for the price, you might just want one. Um, we're going to find out how good it is. But so it comes with not just your um, carrying pouch, but, and it does have a, a pocket clip. So this is more like a storing pouch. You have your polishing rag, a Fintizo sticker, and you have extra hardware. Very nice. Very, very nice. So, um, you know, you have to, sometimes it's like twisting arms with a knife company to try to get, oh, I, I lost a screw. Well, now it's going to take you four weeks. All right, well, you lost a screw, they got another one. So, trying to do this with my offhand is ridiculous. I always want to go back to my regular hand. But check this out, man. Check this out. It is a stunning um, piece of knife. This is a sweet little drop point. The um, overall length is 7.3 inches with a 3-inch blade. It has a 62, 60, 62 Rockwell. So it's a nice hard blade. Uh, the blade thickness is 0.11 inches. Um, it's only 114 grams. Um, and, oh, it is uh, 60, 61 aircraft aluminum scales just beautifully done the blade itself is 14 c 28 n which means it should hold an edge pretty good and we're going to test it but um overall the comfort really nice the button lock um super fidgety i like that can you open it without the button lock um yes i am left-handed and trying to use my right hand it takes practice um but yeah obviously if you're right-handed you're going to snap that open every time um, it does have a lanyard hole. It has steel liners. They are skeletonized. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see. So it's just, the package is done really, really well. All for sub 40 bucks. Now they had it for $43 and the sale price of $38.90 right now on the website. And we'll see what it is on the Amazon site. But I have to say, man, what really caught me was the scales and I don't know if inside light is going to do it justice so let's go to outside light all right so we have a rare sunshiny day out here seems like it's very rare in New England these days oh but look at these scales golly it's got a metallic finish it is beautiful I'm talking b-e-a-u beautiful check these out this is really really nice the drop point on this blade is really, really nice. Um, I have to say, I'm, I'm really, really digging this overall package. I think they did a great job on this knife. I think they did a great job. They have, um, they have some other ones that have just great shapes, great looks. Um, I love the, uh, the scalloping right here in the finger well. I think that's, I think that's wonderfully done. Bigsby! All right, so let's go, uh, let's go find some stuff to cut. Hold on. Hold on. All right, so let's start it off by seeing if it's sharp. Wonder if I can use my left hand. I don't know if I can. Let's clean up Frankenstein here. <laughs> so this knife is razor, razor sharp. I hope you could see that. I can't see with my glasses on. I can't see if there's a glare, but that is razor, razor sharp. Let's see been a while since I shaved old Frank oh look at that it's literally literally shaving the entire tattoo that is wonderful so if you're wondering if they come sharp they come deadly sharp all right let's do some four foot gravity drops and we'll see how that bites into the log here I should probably use my other hand because trying to pinch it in two fingers I cannot drop it straight there we go. Ah, oh, it does have a little bite. You can actually see the line right there and how far that went in, which is over a quarter inch. Not so bad. That is really nice. Now, I have tried before to do um, 
hard downward throws with my right hand and I stink at it, but we're gonna try anyway. Oh yeah, I guess just changing my approach works. Oh, that got some good bite. All right, I got some really good bite. So you can actually see right here, this line that goes that way. That took in pretty nicely. That took in pretty nicely. You got some, um, some good edge angles there. Let's try and do a lock test. Not so bad. <laughs> with this one gone, it would have been terrible if it closed on me. <laughs> I would have been screwed. But nope, everything works just as it's supposed to. It is beautiful. The jimping on here is really, really nice. And let's put it to the test. So maybe this log's not dirty enough for me to sit on. Let's see. Oh, I hate having to use this hand for this because it's so awkward. But we're going to try and cut this hose. And I'm using my left hand to pull and my right hand, which is holding the knife, is just staying steady. And that was easy. That was really, really nice. Um, normally what I would do is I would push this thumb on top and just boop -a -doo easily carve. But since I can't, it's kind of a pain in the nuggets. Um, but let's try anyway. Here we go. I'm going to use my, I'm going to actually push with the right hand this time. Wow. Wow. All right. So it is definitely sharp. I'm not getting any wiggle or wobble from any, um, blade loosening by putting tension on the pivot. And that is a lot of tension going on a pivot. So let's see here. Look at that. That is just shaving this hose. It's a nice thick rubber hose. It's just easily getting through it. Make sure everything is still good and everything is still good. You can see it lines up dead nut straight. It's not just attractive, but it's a good EDC. $38 and change? Are you kidding? That's fantastic. All right, so we need to go, um, we need to go cut some stuff up. So, oh, you know what? I got an idea, I got an idea. Um, some people are always asking about um, self-defense. Well, can you use it for self-defense? Can you use it for self-defense? Anything sharp and pointy can be used for self-defense. And remember, the, the, the key word is defense, not offense. Never, uh, never go out with a knife intending to use it for such things. But if situations arise, you want to know. Hold on. All right, so let's see here. Bop, 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 bop. Um, doing little stab and twists the, to get that, um, what I call the, uh, the Black Widow, which is where you're getting that hourglass wound channeling. People aren't coming back for those. I mean, when you break into skin and you twist, it makes a devastating wound. And this spear point, I, I say yeah, it is. You know, it's a drop point, but check this out. And I was just looking at it, and that's why I said that. But tell me if that doesn't look like it's exactly even on both sides, which would make it a spear point, which is really nice. Um, but the, the way it's digging in is giving you a good ability. Nah, it's a drop point. Um, a good ability to do that. Now we'll do a couple slashes, and I just barely caught it. But that left a nice little nick right there. It's hard with the opposite hand. Well, you see that. Um, so absolutely, if if your if your big question when you're buying a knife is, can I use it for self defense? Um, yeah, first of all, it's fast because the button lock. Second of all, you can easily get it around in the hand, um, so you're good for for posturing there. This knife would have no problems, no issues, no qualms with doing whatever you needed it to do in a self defense situation. But uh, we need to go and test it with some wood. So let's go over here. Let's go over here. We got this beautiful sunshiny day with this beautiful sunshiny knife and we're gonna use it. All right, so let's get some feathering in and we'll do some kindling making. I got this piece right here. Make sure you guys are gonna be in the, in the shot. Knock down some of that. Knock down some of that. Beautiful. All right, so here we go. Here we go, where is my baton? Shouldn't be using this hand. Oh my goodness, that is nice. That is nice, people. So it's a good button lock, it got no accidental closures on hitting it. 
That is not so bad. That is not so bad. Ugh, let's get that out of there. Let's um, let's try some, <laughs> some left-handed pulls without the thumb. Oh, can you make curls and feathers? <laughs> like monkey knuckle in it? Yeah, yeah, you can. So even if you uh, find yourself mildly disabled, um, you're still going to be able to get some curls. Look at that. That's beautiful. Let's try it with the other hand. Let's see if I can ambidextrous style some of these pulls. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, this is your EDC. And I, I truly believe that your EDC should be capable of more than just ripping open packages and, and, and boxes and things like that. Because if you're in a situation where you're driving somewhere and oh, look, let's say you live in a place with tornadoes and something happens that's going to send you off the beaten path or, or it's going to make it to where you need to survive until help comes, whatever you have on you becomes your survival tool. No matter what it is, whatever you have on you becomes your survival tool. So if this is it, if this is the only thing in your pocket, I need to know, am I going to be able to get a fire going? And with this, I truly believe I can. I need to know that, am I going to be able to, let's say I'm stuck in a wooded area and, I, and my car broke down and I need to walk through the woods at night or, or, or down the road along the woods at night and I have to worry about critters. Well, what if I took a long stick and turned it into a spear for, for defense against wild animals? Okay, this is going to do it. This is absolutely going to take care of those situations. Um, let's say I'm able to make a spear and, and I'm able to catch myself a, a, a small animal and I'm able to make a fire and so now I need to eat. Can I, can I go through the skin? Can I do all that? Absolutely. And that's exactly what you want to know. Is your knife going to work for just in case situations? For emergency situations? This knife is absolutely going to work. It's a knife for $38? this knife knives i mean it's beautiful right here you do have a 90 degree spine right here so you can strike a ferro rod with it if you didn't if you, if you lack the ability for some reason to do that you can use right here it doesn't matter um so it's not just an attractive package but it's actually an attractive and usable package and useful package um this knife checks all the boxes if you're looking for uh, uh, an EDC, okay, easy to carry, check. Um, attractive, check. Sharp, check. Easy to use, check. <laughs> what, is it gonna work? Check. I mean, it's literally all the boxes with a better than all the boxes price tag. That's not so bad. Follow the link below, check it out, look at it for yourself, and then look at some of their other models. You might find something that you are just in awe of you might find something that you're saying wow I, I seen a knife that was 300 bucks it had that same exact shape but it was 300 bucks and you might be able to get a really good deal on a really good knife so the fentizo harp um can i recommend it absolutely i mean price alone but the, the overall attractiveness and the fact that it knifes the knife knifes it works blue's my favorite color so maybe this is extra to me but i love the drop point i love the button lock i love the scales i love all of you hi i'm donnie b all day until next knife